right now. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. We've got Trey Young, Santi Aldama out there with Andrew Wiggins. And then it's Malik Beasley, and it's Hunter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Pistons, they've got Thompson, Aparan Shangoon out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then there's Cunningham, and it's Sasser in at the point guard position. And they get it back. Young looking around. Pass to Aldama. Let's go with a three. And Young is good from three. And this season has taken a toll on both teams, Brent, with each missing key players heading into this game. And I really do love, though, the next man up mentality of both of these squads. Injuries are unfortunately part of this very, very long season. But it's up to both teams to power through. Now here's Wiggins. Playing Milwaukee, he was nearly unstoppable. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Misses the three. The Pistons have gone one for three so far. Stewart, screen on Young. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. The Hawks have gone two of three from the floor. Out to Beasley. Sinks it from distance. Beasley's got six. And good recognition there from Trey. It's part of his role. He's got to find open guys. Pass to Sasser. Torres, guarded by Aldama, and down it goes. Two points. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Counted from distance. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. And it's Cunningham missing. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Hunter passes to Aldama. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. To the paint, Torres. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on Santi Aldama. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hawks. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped, because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. The Pistons making a switch here. Smart's checked in. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. And you look at how screens are set in today's game. Brent, the screeners get away with a lot. B.A., you could call them legal screen on almost every pick and roll now. There's a lot of leaning. There's a lot of moving. Guys are extended outside of their body with their feet. But offenses, they greatly benefit from the way the game is called, and they'll continue to take advantage of it. Now Young. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. You can see there just the threat of Young pulling up. It's going to open up the two-man game. The defender forced to come out and respect the deep shot. And Trey able to make the play. Now here's Cunningham. No made baskets yet. Young finds Hunter. Here's Wiggins. Again, Atlanta. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Sasser, guarded by Young. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Aldama. The Hawks have gone 7 of 9, a solid percentage so far. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scores and let them do what they do best. Young, the pass to Wiggins. Knocked away. Hart with the defensive effort. Detroit has gone two for three from outside the arc. 
Pass to Cunningham. And that one hits the back iron. Still hasn't gotten on the board this quarter. He may be pressing a little, trying to get them out of this hole. The Pistons have gone 4 of 10, shooting the rock in this first quarter. They get it back. Kicks it out to Smart. Here's Sasser, guarded by Young. Just five on the clock. The Pistons need to get one up quick. There's Cunningham with a three. And the Pistons, another three! I like this attitude on this possession from K. Just really confident getting into that J. Young from long range, bearing his second of three attempts. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Cunningham against Beasley. Cunningham passes to Smart. And here is Shangun. There's Cunningham with a three. Cunningham can't get that one to fall. Beasley for three. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! It just nails the three. Way to close the quarter. Well, you love nailing the last second shot. Always a feel-good moment. Malik Beasley has been leading the charge for Atlanta. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. You know, for the Hawks, this has been the game they've wanted to have. Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. We've got Mo Bamba. He's out there with Andrew Wiggins, and it's Murray in a two-guard. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. First team at the line for the Hawks. Detroit has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Smart outside. To the wing, right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. The Pistons making a switch here. Two on the clock. Sasser. It's deflected. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Atlanta's gone 6 of 8 from the three-point line in this matchup. Black passes to Wiggins. Shoots over Thompson. That one rolls around and rims out. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Here's Sasser. He has six. To the inside. Here's Brown. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Still very early in the regular season. But Grant, what's the most important thing coaches are working on at this stage? You know, at this point, it's all about really just getting your rotation set. Finding which guys work best together. You know, you have to figure out how to maximize the talent you have. Here's Black. No points yet. Here's Wiggins. And that one is hammered home! I think there were some toughness questions around Andrew Wiggins. Not anymore. This guy has become a pretty gritty player. Pass to Thompson. Back to Smart. Down low. And it's Thompson that time on the assist from Smart. Now any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. 
Well, there will always be players looking to change teams, but Commissioner Silver said, quote, when a player asks to be moved, it has a ripple effect. Lots of other players are impacted by that as well. It's one of those issues that we intend to discuss and see if there are remedies for this. Brian, interesting to see what comes of those talks. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. All right, Allie, good stuff. Now here's Smart. Over Murray. And it's Smart missing. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. For three, Thompson pulls it in. The Pistons have gotten only one of four shots to go in. This one for three. Rebounded by the Hawks. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. Talent-wise, they've got the upper hand. I mean, they won every matchup between these teams last year. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul them. Timeout called, the Pistons. We see a ton of teams shooting more and more threes nowadays. Here are the best in that department. The Hawks number one. Having the shooters they have, the best three-point shooting team in the league, it opens up the whole court by stretching the defense out. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Cunningham looking it over. 16 feet out. He squares up and sinks it. Cunningham's got five. And the confidence growing from this young guard, Cunningham dropping in the jumper. Pass to Black. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. And the Hawks lead by 20. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. And it's Cunningham missing. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Wiggins passes to Hunter. Oh, oh hey, how about that? That's impressive. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Again, the miss by Cunningham. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot timeout, of timeout. good, clean, open looks. Detroit calls timeout. Atlanta on D. They've only given up six here in this quarter. They get it again. Torres he got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Yo, back up, back up. Ah! The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Wiggins. Andrew. Wiggins. One shot. Wiggins, no good on that one. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. Now here's Thompson. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Shot clock at six. Torres tipped. Out of bounds. It'll be Hawks ball. Hawks ball. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. On Wednesday... They'll begin a road trip starting in San Antonio, going up against the Spurs. And on Thursday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella, and the Pistons making a change here. A minute 20 left in the first half of this game. Outside Murray. Pass to Hunter. Back to Murray. Beyond the arc. On target from range. Murray's got eight points. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Wiggins against Thompson. Shangun, a screen on Wiggins. Looking to win the run. It's scooped up! <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Here's Sasser. Six points for him. Pass to Stewart. Up top, Shangun. Stewart, a screen on Murray. Cunningham with the ball. Bamba covering. 
Fires at the elbow. And that one's good. Cunningham. Seven points in the game. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Murray deciding where to go with it. Pass to Black. Off the mark there with a three. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Coach Quinn Snyder, and Coach, you're getting stops in the first half. What do you attribute to that? Well, we're playing hard, scrambling, picking up our effort, trying to be precise and disciplined and talk. And we're not resting on our laurels at any point. Hopefully you can remain active on the defensive end in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Thanks for joining us. Neither team at full strength tonight as we review the injury status. The Pistons are at less than 100%. Well, when you don't have Van Fleet, it really hurts. His teammates tap into his energy with his play. I mean, when this guy gets hot, he's like a starter on any team. He's shown he could be a number one scorer. It's a big loss. And now let's talk about our game at hand. What a first half for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, you love the points off the bench. Must be nice to be a starter and come back into the game with a larger lead. Makes life easier, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you appreciate the way this roster's been constructed. Strong in a number of areas. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. How about Andrew Wiggins? Man, is he playing well. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And hey, you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Thompson out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then there's Alperon Shangoon. Then there's Kate Cunningham. And it's Sasser in at the one. That's the group for Detroit right now. That one goes in. Cunningham's got nine points. And Kate eager but not rushed that time, just jumping at the chance for the quick shot. Young, the pass to a Kongwu. No good with the triple. Detroit has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Thompson shot is off. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, the home game. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It made you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. The Hawks have gone just one of three in the second half. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Brent, something that can get overlooked. How a player fits in on a team can make all the difference. Well, that fit, B.A., depends on where your team is in, in the arc of your competitiveness. So if you need one guy to put you over the top and you're a team winning 50 games, then you've got to get the right fit. Otherwise, really teams and rosters are exploring talent, developing talent, until they get to that point where fit becomes the foundation for what they're going to do for something special. But Cam Johnson's such a deadly three-point shooter. If he's able to get to the line, it can make him an elite scorer. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Hunter passes to a Kongwu. Now here's Young. Murray with it. Fires for three. Knocks down the triple. He's got 11. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And there's Cunningham on the assist by Shingu. 
the defense better clue in to Cade Cunningham. I mean, this guy is an active and effective scorer. Young with it, and a Changun picking him up. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Cunningham against Murray. Here's Sasser. He's got six. Pass to Shangun. Hunter with some nice D. The Hawks have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Some fans do question the level of play in the regular season, but all-star Kevin Durant said, quote, they only see us when the games come on, but the travel, the practices, the shoot-arounds, we're constantly moving, so appreciate the grind. Every game is not going to be a high-intensity playoff game. We go as hard as our bodies allow us to go. Brian? Yeah, interesting point there, Allie. Thank you. It's what makes Johnson so difficult to guard. He's got that quick trigger. Thompson scanning the floor. Here's Sasser. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Sasser's got nine. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's Young. Six points for him. Cunningham passes to Thompson. Deflected! Oh, well, Murray timing that one right, and with that 6'10 wingspan, he can get to it. For Detroit, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. And here's Cunningham outside. And the Pistons, another three! One this half, two for the game. Staying active from beyond the arc. From the elbow, and that one's good. Young, give him eight. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. Pass to Sasser. And he's going for the lob! You could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. A minute 20 left in the third. And here's a Kongwu for three. Connects from downtown. And those assist numbers for Murray keep going up because he can score. There's Cunningham with a three. Rebounded by Johnson. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Young, chalk up two there. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Cunningham passes to Thompson. The three ball. Rebounded Lana. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Oh, the dunk by a Akonwu! Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. This team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. The Hawks have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. There's Young with the three, and Cunningham pulls it down. Will it go? Knocks down the long chain. Cunningham's got 12 points here in the second half. Yeah, Cade hard to stop. He's got his motor rev high tonight. And so it's Atlanta building an insurmountable lead. Come on, they're up 38 points at the end of the quarter. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. More 2K action in just a moment. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for Detroit. Fourth quarter, on the floor for the Hawks. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Johnson is out there with a Kongwu. And it's Hunter in at the five down low. Now here's Cunningham. Murray brings the double. And here's Thompson for three. A Kongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Hunter. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got his seventh assist here tonight. And no question, Trey Young is a very special passer and playmaker on the floor. 
Cunningham against Murray. Shoots from the line, and that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 21. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Hunter, good. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. The fadeaway, and it's smart missing. Good idea with the fadeaway, but the defense was just all over it. Okongwu, the pass to Murray. Back to Okongwu, 4-3. Smart grabs the miss. The Pistons have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Cunningham. And in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Young from long range. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. All right, guys, the breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Hawks. I mean, those SWATs, <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And the Hawks call time here. making a switch here. The Hawks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. I like that Johnson keeps his intensity. He doesn't let the foul stop him. personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the Hawks, Johnson, Cameron, Johnson. Free throw drops for Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Hunter, good. Just owning the offensive of glass right now. Just refusing to let up. Well, we saw the same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back outings. There's Young with the three. Here's a Kongwu. And the layup is good off the glass. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Here's Young. Following the score by Detroit. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm up, so maybe just a step too far. Now here's Thompson. Ooh, poor shot selection there. Not a high percentage look for him. Spins. Murray finds Hunter. Ooh, powered down with both hands. The size advantage gives him a clear path to the shot. Cunningham passes to Shingun to the left side wing. Sasser can't hit. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. A clear look for Murray. And it's Atlanta scoring again. Typically, Murray likes to get that shot off while he's dribbling, but in recent years, working on that catch and shoot situation. Sasser sinks the tray. Their guards have carried the offensive load. With the way they perform, they've got the green light to shoot whenever there's an opening. Now here's Young. Pass to Hunter. And it's flushed down! A nice jam! Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Hawks. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. 
I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And so this will lock down their 15th win of the year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Big Dog. Well, a consistent intensity is what he brought to the floor here. He hit the glass hard, and he came up with a ton of rebounds. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Detroit, Sasson. And he makes a first. And so he hits both. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shoots. And there's Hunter on the assist from Okongwu. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. He's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. The shot by Johnson, no good. And the Pistons with possession here. The three from Thompson. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Cunningham with the ball. So we see the Hawks taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We leave you now with our New Balance Player of the Game. Money.